very happy good morning children today we will see our third chapter that is nature of matter okay now children we see variety of material around us they have different shape size color they have different properties and it is very difficult to study each and every material separately so to make the study of material easier the properties easier we classify them into group such a grouping of material having similar properties is known as classification now in nature of matter we discuss about the what is matter first we clear the what is the difference between mass and weight mass mass is the measure of the amount of matter amount of matter in a body but weight weight is the measure of the amount of force acting on a mass due to acceleration due to gravity isn't it that is the difference between mass and weight now children all the things around us are made up of matter isn't it all the things around us are made up of matter but what is matter matter is something which has mass and which occupy the space isn't it now on the basis of its physical state we classify the matter into three group that is the solid liquid and gaseous state now all things are made up of matter but matter is a number matter is made up of very small particles okay matter is made up of very small particles now we see the arrangement of particles in solid liquid and gaseous state in solid state particles are tightly packed with each other now see particles are tightly packed with each other they cannot move so solid have a fixed shape and definite volume why solid have a fixed shape and definite volume because their particles are tightly packed with each other now in liquid particles are less tightly packed with each other they can move a little particles are less tightly packed with each other they can move a little so they have fixed volume but do not have definite say okay now in gas the particles have little hold on each other okay now in gas the particles have very little hold on each other and they can therefore move far apart from each other hence gases have neither a fixed nor a definite volume properties of matter appearance and feel transparency floating and sinking diffusion dissipation first we see appearance and feel some material differ from one another in term of their appearance and feel we see some material are luster in appearance and some material are dull in appearance we see we feel some material are smooth some material are rough now second one that is the transparency for transparency 
we take a lighted candle and empty glass we hold it against the lighted candle and see light on the other side of the tumbler that means this tumbler is a transparent how it is transparent because it allow light to pass through it so it is transparent material isn't it now opaque material for opaque material we take a piece of wood and we keep here can you see the light no why why you cannot see the light because this wood is a opaque material it does not allow light to pass through it so it is called opaque material now next property that is the floating and sinking material which are lighter than water generally float over it now we take a ball filled with water now we put a piece of feather on this water what we see we see it float on water it float on water why because it is lighter than water now some material which is heavier than water generally sink in it now let to activity we drop coin in water what we see it sink in water that means it is heavier than water so some material which are lighter than water generally float over it and some material which are heavier than water generally sink in water now after this diffusion isn't it diffusion we take lighted agarbatti and we feel its fragrance why do you know we feel its fragrance because its fume diffuse with the particles of air in the room present that is the diffusion that process is diffusion gases diffuse very quickly into each other that means diffusion diffusion is the process of mixing of particles of two material on their own that is called diffusion gases diffusion very quickly into each other but liquid diffuse quite slowly from gas why because particle of gases are free to move now children liquid diffuses into each other quite slowly why liquid diffuses into each other quite slowly this is because particles in a liquid are not so free just as the particles in a gases okay now let's do the activity we take clean water in a glass tumbler we put few drop of blue ink in it what we see we see blue ink diffuses quite slowly in the water this shows liquid diffuses into liquid quite slowly solid do not diffuse into each other have you seen uh sand and uh, pebbles diffuse into each other no why because their particles are tightly packed 
but some solid diffuse into liquid one okay we take a tumbler of water we keep ice in water it diffuse slowly and particles of liquid are able to pour so solid diffuse only in liquid some solid not all isn't it a solution the property by which a substance dissolve in another substance is called dissolution when one substance mixes completely with another substance to give a clear solution we say it has dissolved in it children you know some substance dissolve in water but some do not dissolve in water when substance dissolve in water we say it is soluble and with substance which do not dissolve in water we say it is insoluble now let's do the activity we take glass tumbler with half filled with water we put salt in it we stir it what we see it dissolve in water that that means it is soluble in water now we take another glass tumbler half filled with water we put sand in water what we see it do not dissolve in water that means it is insoluble in water that means some solid dissolve in water and some solid do not dissolve in water solubility and saturated solution the maximum amount of a substance that can be dissolved in a given volume of water is called the solubility of that substance in water now let us perform the activity we take glass tumbler we take water in it okay now we add half teaspoon of salt in it we stir it we again add half teaspoon of salt keep on adding salt after every addition after adding a particular amount of salt we will observe that salt is no more dissolving in the given volume of water this means maximum amount of salt has been dissolved in a given volume of water now the solution of pink in the, this activity cannot dissolve more through salt such a solution which cannot dissolve more amount of a given substance at a given temperature is called a saturated solution hmm effect of temperature on solubility on increasing the temperature that is on heating a solution the solubility of a substance generally increases this means in a given volume of water a large amount of substance can be dissolved if water is heated now we take equal volume of water in two glass tumbler in one glass tumbler we take normal water in another glass tumbler we take hot water in equal volume now add equal amount of salt in two tumbler we stir it 
in hot water in normal water keep on adding measured amount of salt in two tumbler till it is stop dissolving we will see amount of salt dissolved in hot water is more this shows that the amount of a substance dissolving in water generally increases with an increase in temperature dissolution of liquid in water children we know some liquid are soluble in water and some liquid do not dissolve in water that means they are insoluble in water we take glass tumbler and we put mustard oil in it soluble in water we take another glass tumbler we take lemon juice we mix in another glass tumbler what we see it dissolve in water that means lemon juice is soluble in water but mustard oil is insoluble in water the solution of gases in water you know some gases dissolve in water soda water is prepared by the dissolving carbon dioxide gas in water uh, children you see when you open the lid of uh, soda water what you see you see bubbles coming out of the water bubble of gas hmm after some time bubbles will stop coming out okay it shows that all the gas dissolved in the soft drink has escaped from it okay that means carbon dioxide dissolving water oxygen also dissolving water it is small amount the oxygen is used by the aquatic animals to breathe gases like helium ozone and hydrogen do not dissolve in water this was some gases dissolve in water whereas some do not the solubility of gas in water decreases with increase in its temperature the solubility of gas in water decreases with increase in its temperature so that is our properties of matter